smashed up your little game We are the boys who will make you think again Cause who do you think you are giving Mr. Hitler If you think old England's done Mr. Brown goes off to town on the A21 But he comes home each evening and he's ready with his gun So who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think old England's done And they arrived yet? No, it's most unusual, Mr. Barry, Mr. Wilson, to be late, you know. The uh, the trouble is, uh, my bus goes at ten past and they, they won't hold it for you these days. Well, you just go, Mr. Godfrey. I'll explain to Mr. Manning. Oh, no, no, I, I couldn't do that. He, he might be upset. Oh, he won't be upset today. I brought him four sausages. <laughs> and quarter pound of dripping is not a lot, but it's a thought that counts, isn't it? Mind the door. All right, all right. Here we go. Now, be careful and don't bump it, Mr. Mannering. Oh, don't be silly, Pike. Not as delicate as that. Don't be such a fuss, Frank. Excuse me, Mr. Mannering. Mr. Godfrey here would like permission to have... Oh, a... no, 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 not just now. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, call the men on parade, will you, uh, Jones? I've got something important to tell them. Yes, but if he doesn't go soon, it'll be too late. Oh. <laughs> all right. Tell him to go now and get back on parade as fast as he can. Right, you hang on for five minutes, Mr. Godfrey, and if Mr. Manning hasn't finished you, I'll get the verger to hold it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at this, Mr. Manning. <laughs> I brought it in, I'll handle it first. <laughs> Beautifully balanced. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Devastating weapon in the right hands, I should think. Yes, I should think even more devastating in the wrong hands. Mike, <laughs> 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 will you stop that? Sorry. Hello, well, let's show it to the troops. Right, sir. You bring the mags along. Yes? Mr. Mannering, please. Yeah. please let, let me take it, Mr. Mannering. Will you, will you put it down? <laughs> oh, hey! Fall it at once. Don't you control that boy. Thinks it's a game. I right, probably these everywhere. Well, men, you've waited for it, and here it is. Oh. Now, this is probably the most sophisticated sidearm ever invented. It fires 650 rounds of four five ammunition per minute. The drum holds 50 rounds. You've got the drum, Wilson? Oh, yes, of course I have, sir, yes. Well, hold it up. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wilson is holding up the drum. The spring magazine, spring clip magazine, holds 20 rounds. I'll show it, Wilson. Yes, indeed, sir. Here's the clip. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Manning, has that got a detachment for a bayonet? No, I'm afraid it hasn't. Oh, what a pity. Yeah, you'd soon run out of bullets at 650 rounds a minute. I mean, you'd only have to touch that trigger and <laughs> your magazine's empty. Oh, <laughs> I think it'll last a bit longer than that, don't you, Wilson? Oh, I think so. Just about, uh, just under two seconds, I would think, sir. So. Yes. I'll tell you what, Joe, we'll time it. I'll say go, and then I'll say stop. <laughs> Captain, Captain Manry. Not just now, Rob. Stand by. Go. Stop. They ain't gonna need a bayonet, Mr. Manry. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute, Captain Manning. Yon drum holds 50 rounds. It will go on longer. Something like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fraser. Mr. C Captain Mandarin, uh, who's going to have it first, and please may I? Certainly not. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain Mandarin. And Mandarin's. not you either, Godfrey. Well, let's take it in turns. General McCulley always said, take it in turns. General McCulley? Who is he? 
Well, he wasn't very important, but he, <laughs> he used to say, take it in turns. <laughs> That's all I can remember of him, really. <laughs> yeah, I know, let's have a whisk drive. And the winner has a first go. Certainly not. I won't have the technical future of this unit decided by the draw of a card. No, 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 we shall draw lots for it. I'm sorry, I know you're disappointed, Godfrey, but I'm only trying to do the fair thing. Uh, may I have three days' holiday? Now, just fall back. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Uh, I'd rather like three days' holiday. You got out of your mind? <laughs> Hitler's across the channel waiting to pounce. We're in the front line. I wouldn't ask normally, but uh, it's to do with this friend of mine. I see. <laughs> it's all a little involved. Yes, I'm quite sure it is. Permission to interfere, sir. <laughs> Mr. Godfrey won't speak up for himself, sir. He's too much the gentleman. But my lips are not sealed, and I can reveal that at the bottom of all this, there is a woman. Is that true, Godfrey? Well, yes and uh, uh, no. Yes and no? What sort of an answer is that? Well, it's a bit of each, isn't it? Don't get that. <laughs> I think we'd better go in the office, Godfrey. And you too, Wilson. Aye, sir. Aye. Mr. Mannering, mm. please may I look after this hunting gun, P please. Oh, very well. Thank you. They also call it the Chicago piano. What did you say? <laughs> the Chicago piano. Stupid boy. <laughs> Young Godfrey has a queer, fey look. More than likely, he's a sexual maniac. <laughs> Not now, Vicar. Oh, Vic. <laughs> Wilson, you better take notes. Wilson. Yeah. Where, take... oh, I'm sorry, yeah, no, of course, of course, of course I will, yeah. <laughs> now, Godfrey, well, what are you doing here, Joan? Well, sir, it's like this, sir. Mr. Godfrey is a very retiring gentleman and he won't speak up for himself. So I would like to speak for him. Me being privy to his intimate details through things what he told me in his continence. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all right with you, Godfrey? Well, I suppose... Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Godfrey. <laughs> well, it's like this, sir. Just before the beginning of the commencement of the ball ball, it all started. Mr. Godfrey here, he was a dandy young buck for some 20 summers. I'm terribly sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Dandy, dandy. Da oh, da I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he really fell for a beautiful young lady who was in service in one of the great halls nearby. Are you listening, sir? Yes, of course I'm listening. Well, anyway, them days wasn't like these days, sir. If you was a young serving wench, you had to watch your station and mind your peas and onions. <laughs> you started up in the morning, 5.30, black in the grate, until 8.30 at night, put in the cat out. They gave you one Sunday a month off, and they paid you three and six a week less laundry. But it was a good life. <laughs> Look, James, I can't sit here listening to all this rigmarole. No, I'm sorry, sir. I was transgressing. Anyway, Mr. Godfrey, not getting a chance to see her much, he was unable to plight his trough, which he would have done had he been given half a chance. Him being a virile young man, as we all was in them days, me more than most. You're not in a hurry, are you, sir? Yes, I am. Get to the point. <laughs> well, the point is what three days holiday. That's the point. I know that. I think you'd better be quiet, Jones. Let Godfrey speak for himself. See, he won't let me speak to him. It's no good. Yeah, be, quiet, Joe, yeah, be, be quiet, Jones. Be quiet. Rather like three days' holiday to help with the harvest. <laughs> to help with the harvest? Well, that's hardly a holiday, is it? That's very important work, isn't it, Wilson? Yes, it is, sir. Very important indeed. Look, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I haven't been able to get down half of what uh, Corporal Jones has been saying. I shouldn't worry too much about that. I don't think it had anything to do with it, at least. <laughs> it did have something to do with it. That young lady married a farmer, and now she's a widow. And it's her harvest that he wants to help with. <laughs> her foreman has gone to hospital. Yeah, hernia. Hernia. <laughs> Left side. Left side. Never mind. <laughs> <us>. <laughs> and has she no other form of labour? Only three land girls. I, I'd like to help because we've been rather close, but I'm afraid I've missed the bus. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now, Cap, how many acres does she farm? A hundred acres of wheat to be got in. <clears throat> a hundred? Well, this is vital, Wilson. Yes, of course, sir. The country, the country needs every grain of corn that it can possibly grow. Now, we're going to give this, this harvest top priority. We'll call for volunteers, and Jones can take us over there in his van. 
There you are. You see, now he needs me. A few moments ago, he was casting me off like an old yeah. acquaintance. Yeah, uh, Joe, <laughs> Joe, go and call him in. Yeah, very good. It's really very right. kind of you, Captain Manley. Uh, could I ring Mrs. Prentice and uh, tell her the good news? Yes, of course you may go off me. Of course, carry on. Now, okay, Cables. Well. Yes, sir. Get the novel roll. Yeah. Tick off all the A little roll. hen. When, when, when will you lay me I an egg? I want to use my office to with people playing soldiers. You settle yourself down there, Your Reverence. No one will disturb you there. Thank you, Mr. Yateman. <sighs> oh, for goodness sake, Mr. Yateman, how can I punch you? Oh, Vicar, thank the Lord I found you. I must talk to you. Oh, hello, Mr. Hodges. I hear you had rather a narrow escape last night. Narrow escape? It was a miracle. He landed right there beside me. If it had gone off, I wouldn't be here to talk to you now. A miracle indeed. He knocked my pint of beer right clean out of my hand. Look! <laughs> it was a deliverance. More like a judgment. <laughs> Go away, Mr. Yateman. <sighs> yes, sir. <laughs> I should have been killed. I was spared. Why me? Why me? Answer me that. Why me? Why, why, why? I can't think. <laughs> I'm just a simple greengrocer. Do you think he's saving me for some great purpose? Well, you never know. All my life I've been rotten, but I'm going to turn over a new leaf. I'm going to be kind to everyone. I'm going to love my enemies, not Hitler, of course. But I'm going to be good to Captain Mannering and help him in his struggle, because he's a good man at art, you know. Yes, I'm sure he is. From now on, I'm going to be right behind him. Well, that's marvellous news. Oh, yes. Well, thank you for seeing me, Vicar. I, I needed your guidance. Only too glad to be of help. You, you've been a rock for me to cling to. Pleasure, I'm sure. <laughs> When, when will you try to supply one for me? Back her off. Stick all your stuff down there, in that corner. Hang on to your rifles, though. Don't want to be surprised by the Nazis. Don't you worry, Mr. Manry. Don't you worry, I won't let them surprise us. I'll fill them full of lead first. <laughs> How did that boy get hold of the weapon? Fraser was supposed to have first turn. No, no, sir, I think, uh, I think Park had some uh, private arrangements. Well, I won't have private arrangements on active uh, service. Right, right. Colonel, Colonel Mannering. Oh, it really is very kind of you, uh, of all of you, to come and help me like this. Um, I'm afraid it's a bit rough and ready for you. Don't you worry, Mrs. Prentice. All we're concerned about is gathering in the harvest. Ah, yes. Well, uh, well, we've got a bit of a problem there. Mr. Yates of Grove Farm was going to thresh it for me, but his thresher's broke, so uh, he's all behind, you see. And haven't you got one of your own? Oh, yes, I've got one, all right, but only my foreman knows how it works. The foreman? Left side. Yeah, yes, yes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've got enough expertise in our ranks to get the wheels turning, don't you, Wilson? Well, I don't know, sir. You see, farming machinery can be awfully complicated. Yes, I know, but Sponge is a farmer. You ought to be able to fix it. True, yes. We'll win through, Mrs. Prentice. You can rely on us. Thank you, Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Paul! What on earth is he doing here? Goodness knows. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Go on home. Captain Mannering, Warden and Aussie Wardens is here to help you. I think we can manage without him, don't you? Yes. Would you mind just clearing off? Don't send me away, Captain Manring. Don't spurn me in England's hour of need. We'll stand shoulder to shoulder against the common foe. Let them all come, and you and I, Captain Manring, together, we'll, we'll shock them. <laughs> she, um... <laughs> I don't know. I've really no idea, sir. Watch him. Yes, but... He's up to something. <laughs> Right, fall in three ranks outside. Right, come on, fall in three ranks outside. Do as the good captain says, good man. Fall in three ranks just outside. Just a minute, just a minute. I'm the one that does the bawling and shouting. Oh, really sorry, Corporal Jones. I really didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's just that I want to help the good captain, you see, because he's a good man, you know. You know, sir, you could be right. Uh, he may well have been drinking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Charles. Aren't they lovely? I'm sorry about last Sunday, but... My sister thought it was uh, under the weather. Oh, oh, poor old soul. Oh, she's three years younger than I am, you know. 
Sergeant Sally, Sergeant Sally is coming home on leave today. Sergeant Sally, sweetheart of our alley, we've missed her since she's been away. What a welcome they'll be when she walks down the street with three stripes on her arm. We'll be so proud to be. What have we got here then? Sergeant Warden's home. Fall out and gather round. Right, fall out and gather round, like the good captain says. Well, I don't suppose this is as complicated as it looks. Fun? Yes, Captain Manry. I want you to select as many men as you want and show them how this works. I don't know how it works. You don't know? I thought you said he was a farmer. Yes, well, I'm sure he is, sir. Yeah, a sheep farmer. <laughs> a sheep farmer. They don't thresh sheep. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps those land girls know. Well, ask them. Uh, sir. Excuse me. Do you happen to know how this thing works? No, sorry. We've only been here three weeks. All right, well, never mind. But may I say how, how charming you look in your uniform? <laughs> I really mean that. Oh, well, thanks very much. You look absolutely lovely. All right, all, all right. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain Manrin. Yes. Aye. I know how it works. Oh, good. Well done, Joan. Yeah. Pay attention, everybody. Jones knows how it works. Thank you, sir. Oh, excuse me. Would you mind holding that, sir? I might want to use my hands. <laughs> right, now, pay attention. There, that there, over there, that is the engine. And here, this, uh, this uh, complication here, this is the threshing thing. <laughs> you to be too technical for them, am I, sir? Not yet, Corporal. Right, sir. Right. You take a stook and you weave it up there. Whoops! Right on the top. Meanwhile, the engine, the engine over here, this is going puff, 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 puff. <laughs> That belt is working, working along. The threshing here is going jip, jip, a jip, jip, a jip, jip, While this is going jip, a jip, a jip, a jip, inside here, the stray is all going mushing round, mushing round like that. Meanwhile, that's causing over here another section. This section here, like that, is causing that movement. All go up there, whoops a daisy up over the end, and in the meantime, in the meantime, all the grain which has been inside has come wheedling. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, chap. It's come wheedling through here, and all the grain comes in the sacks. Munge, 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 munge. And then it's all done. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we've got the gist of what Corporal Jones is saying. Right, Jones, your section will be in charge of this operation, and the rest of you get on with the reaping and gathering. Uh, what shall I do, Captain Manning, sir? Just keep quiet. Right, sir? <laughs> right, keep quiet, everybody, now. Keep quiet, for, keep quiet for the good captain. Now, I shall want somebody up on the top there to load the hopper from the cart. Yeah, I'd like to volunteer to be somebody up there to load the hopper from the cart. Oh, very well, John. Yeah. Mike, you go and help him. Yeah, I'll keep them all covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I usually superintend the grain going into the sacks. Do you? Right, carry on. Now, uh, Walker, you'll be in charge of stacking the straw. Walker? Where's Walker? Walker! Walker! <laughs> Did you call, sir? See that the straw is well stacked. See it's what? Well stacked. Yeah, her name's Judy. <laughs> Come to you. Right. Well, now, I've got to get this machine going. Would you know anything about that, Wilson? Oh, no, not really, sir, no. I'm afraid mm. not. Mum says you can't even use a tin opener, don't you, Uncle Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's awfully funny, Frank. Probably true, though. <laughs> oh, good, good. Well done, Fraser. Go to it. Right. Captain Mannering! Captain Mannering! What can I do to help you in your good work, sir? Oh. Oh, go and, go and look after the horse. Give it a handful of grass or something. Yeah. What about oh, no, me, sir? sir? Oh, you better keep a tally on the on the loads of grain. All right. Ah, Sprintless. Well, we'll soon have things running as smooth as a sewing machine. Right. Off you go, Fraser. All right, sir. Jones! 
Well, I saved you from that, didn't I? Yeah. Now I need to save it from something else, don't I? You bet. Hey! <laughs> trousers off. Are you all right? I've lost that which I hold most dear. <laughs> the pocketbook and discharge papers. It's all right, Jonesy, I got it. It's all right, Mr. Manry. He's only lost his trousers. Well, get him out and let's get on with the harvest. I can't get out in front of all those landladies. <laughs> Take the trousers off that scarecrow. I've been through a terrible experience. Don't Mr. get on with it, Jones. He's not very sympathetic, is he, Pikey? Yes. All right, look lively, lads. We're holding up the harvest. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
coming over to bless the harvest. Good afternoon, Mr. Yateman. Good afternoon, Your Reverence. Very nice. Thank you, Your Reverence. I thought the congregation could sit over here. Excellent. Yeah. Where are the congregation? Still celebrating. <laughs> what on earth are they drinking? Potato wine. I only tried it once. Was it good? Well, I got very belligerent. <laughs> yeah. Come along now, the vicar's waiting for you. <laughs> Potato wines, and yes, strong. <laughs> Show me the man that says it isn't. Now, come along, my brave lad. Go visit the decorium. <laughs> You're a good man, Captain Napoleon. You can't help being pompous. Thank you, Mr. Mora. Put yourselves together. My, they have had a lot. Hope they'll be all right, you know. I haven't touched it since that night. Him 482. Come, ye thankful people, come, <laughs> raise the sword of harvest home. All is safely gathered in ere the winter's storms begin. Talk to me like that, you you drunken old snob. <laughs> oh. All right, all right, Fraser, I can look after myself. Um, Don't you start anything. Just clear off, will you? <laughs> look, look, oh, don't you push that old man. Thank <laughs> you.